Hello. Um, I did take the liberty of trying it. Then I also did some reading up online. Uh, I should mention, I'm the practitioner, by the way. I'm a magician, um, bachelor of science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, and parapsychological researcher. Um, I've done some uh, a great amount of work uh, trying to uh, take a look at actual telekinesis videos on the, on the internet. So far, I've only come across a couple which were actually any good. Those were done by a fellow parapsych researcher of mine called Mind Freak, and in his particular case, he was doing something called retropsychokinesis. It was um, a site I recommended him to, which was tied to a true radioactive decay random number generator, and he got statistically significant levels for um, reaching backwards through time to influence the radioactive decay. That sort of um, that sort of telekinetic capability, which is um, an offshoot of the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Uh, if my interpretation of the observer phenomena is correct, uh, you know that that sort of thing would be entirely possible because that's on a quantum level and is much more within what we know of the laws of physics. However, um, I probably should mention. Okay, anyway, I digress. Back to the current video. The um, one you're doing here, where you're moving the uh, the thing. I'd like you to take a look. I've got a cross here, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. And watch this. I'm going to visualize it slightly moving forward, and but you see it already does that. But look, I'm going to visualize it moving left to right, and it already starts doing that. The thing, of course, is though, is that if you probably haven't noticed, <coughs> excuse me, I'd like you to observe my hand when I do this. Actually, let me bring it back here. You see, even when it moves forward, if you watch closely, you can see my hand moving, making micro movements. What this is called is this is called the idiomotor effect. Um, as long as it's tied to you your body will make micro movements to whatever your brain visualizes. Um, this, is just a, uh, this is just a thing about the body, it's just the body just reacting to the brain. This is a perfectly natural phenomenon, it's not telekinesis. Interestingly, on a different note, I probably know I'm going to get a shitload of comments from people who are saying, well what about the brain being able to heal your body, or meditation, or anyone, you know, like, or, or, uh, or uh, like, oh well, what about the brain being able to heal your body, or what about changing heart rate and stuff. I'd like to stress something perfectly well. Within the body, it's entirely possible for the brain to influence the uh, health of the body and stuff like that. That's working with natural processes. Again, um, you know, intention to heal your own body is, very, is, is a very different kettle of fish. Intention to the outside world, beyond the level of quantum mechanics, is highly unlikely. Here's the thing, though, which I would suggest, nonetheless, uh, for your experiment. Um, if you're wanting to avoid uh, uh, misassociating the uh, idiomotor effect with what possibly might be genuine telekinesis. I'm not... Like I said, I'm not an entire skeptic. I am open-minded to the idea. It's just I'd like to see some tightened controls just to be safe. So here's what I'd suggest. Take that same pendulum you worked with, the one with the floss and the, and the quarter. Um, find a room with um, all the windows shut and uh, one window looking in. So this way you can, uh, or, or something like that, or a glass or door or something like that. Basically to make sure that there's a pane of glass between you, you know, there's a pane of glass or plastic between you and the pendulum then stick, then in the room which you're isolating it in, screw one of those eye screws into the ceiling and tie the floss with the quarter around it. Then close the door, make sure there's no draft underneath, stick a towel underneath to prevent air getting in that way, and then go into the next room. When you can actually take a look at that, uh, when you can take a look at it, right? Look at it through the pane of glass and watch it screw to the ceiling and attempt to move it then. The sealing it in the room, uh, prevent, uh, the hanging it on the ceiling prevents the idiomotor effect, and the uh, sealing it in a room prevents the uh, air vibrations, you know, uh, gusts of wind, extra stuff from possibly, blow, uh, from possibly moving it. Now the thing is, if you can still move it under those conditions, then you've got genuine telekinesis. So the best of my knowledge, I haven't seen any videos of anybody doing that yet, but uh, I did hear about a couple of people who claimed they had been able to do it, so it is possible. Again, like I said, it's just I'd like to see... Um, and if you can succeed in pulling it off, please do, uh, do by all means make a video of that. Um, you know, please by, uh, do by all means make a video of it and post it because I would be very, very interested in seeing that. Anywho, that's all my thoughts for now. Um, toodles, keep up the good work. Uh, you did come across something interesting there, but um, when you're holding it, it's not telekinesis, it's the ideal motor effect. Just so you know. Anyway, keep up the good work. See ya.